Hello? 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 Hi, right, Mr. Chairman, I've got seven o'clock. Yeah, well, I'm here. Can you hear me, Tom? Is that you, Ken? Yeah. I, for some reason, I don't have video. My Whoever set this up, my calendar did not allow me to click the link to get the video so you had to dial in <clears throat> but you can hear me right tom yep okay, you want me good. to send you the link if you can email me the link that would be good i can do it right from my phone it'll work like like a charm All right, can I send you the link? All right, hold on. Hi, everyone. What board members are present tonight? I see Jim McMahon and Ed Murphy. Is there anyone, is there anyone besides Jim and Ed for the board? Just the, uh, just me, I mean, the uh, solicitor. 
you being Ken Fetterman, correct? Correct. Correct. Okay. Mundo. I don't see your face, so I'm going off. Yeah, your I know. Voice. I'm trying to get the link. Tom just sent it. It's, yeah, no, that's I fine. Don't... I just wanted to see if there were any other board members present. Yeah, it looks like Colleen Dunn's here, too. Okay. Yeah, because I don't always see all the photos on here. So it looks like Jim, Ed, and Colleen. Thank you, Tom. So Tom, Tom. just waiting for just waiting for Ken to get on. No, I'm on voice wise. I'm fine. Just, okay. Eventually, I'll be able to. You'll be able to see me. But right now, it doesn't matter. We can start. You want to wait? You want to wait a few minutes? Tom, Tom, Colleen was asking if you could send her the link to, to her email. Sure. Thank you. She says she's on. Uh, I'm getting the information I got. I'm here. I don't know why this email is not coming through, but it's. It took a minute for it to open up, though. Yeah, it, it came through. It did come through. Hold on. <clears throat> Mr. Chuck Guy, do you have a question? No, I have no question, sir. Thank you. Your hands up on the screen there. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. There you go. No, the little icon. Uh, I'm going to hang, go. hang up and click into this link. I'll be right back. All right. Looks like Ken's getting in here. This is our life in the virtual world. All right, you should be able to hear me now also. You're in, Ken, yeah. All right, good. All right, you ready to get started? Yes. All right, um, I guess we'll stand for the Pledge of Allegiance real quick. <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. The flag of the United the States, States of America. America. And to the Republic for which it stands. Which it stands one, one nation, nation under, God. under God, indivisible. For liberty and justice for all. Oh. All right, I want to uh, introduce a couple people. Our solicitor, Ken Fetterman, director of LNI, Mr. Tom Scott, our um, stenographer, Cindy Oliveira, and the board members are Jim McMahon, Ed Murphy, and Colleen Dunn. Um, all right, so uh, let's get it get started. Uh, first on the agenda is uh, before I get started, just I just want to make sure that you know, being on Zoom, that if you're not speaking, please mute your um, mics so there's no uh, background noise, please. Um, so first on the agenda is ML thirty five LLC, Bank of America Corporation. Yeah. So, Jim, I sent you over later this afternoon a request from Dan Lyons uh, for a continuance. They basically found out uh, or realized, I should better way of put it, that they needed a second variance related to parking because what they're proposing to do on the property is going to result in a reduction of the amount of parking available. And they're, they, it's a commercial industrial type property. They don't have enough parking now. Uh, and it's going to get a little bit, uh, there'll be a little less parking. So they're going to need a second variance. Um, Dan was certainly willing to get on the phone for the Zoom hearing. I, I told him it might not, would not be necessary, uh, candidly, uh, that I would present the letter. I actually forwarded to Tom Scott and to you uh, this afternoon, and I can read the letter into the record. It says, Dear Mr. Fetterman, as you are aware, my office represents ML35 LLC with respect to the above referenced 
zoning hearing board application scheduled to be heard before the Bristol Township Zoning Hearing Board on the evening of March 8th, 2021. It has come to our attention that an additional variance may be required pursuant to the Bristol Township Zoning Ordinance. Therefore, I am re respectfully requesting a continuance of the Zoning Hearing Board of the, of the Zoning Hearing Board hearing this evening in order to amend the application as necessary and re-advertise the same. I, on behalf of the applicant, am also waiving the requirement that the Zoning Hearing Board must hear the application within 60 days of filing. Pursuant to our telephone conversation earlier this evening, we have agreed that you will present the continuance request to the Zoning Hearing Board this evening and the applicant is not required to appear. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Please do not hesitate to contact me with any questions or additional information. And in the email that accompanied this letter, he offered if it was necessary to get on the phone, to jump on the Zoom call if we really want him to do that. So I'll defer to you, Mr. Chairman, for that part, but otherwise we would look for a motion to approve a continuance. When do they need it for Ken next month? Next month, yeah, the sooner the better. Okay. Um, I need a motion for a continuance on this applicant for next month. I'll make a motion for the continuance for uh, the next month. I need a second. I'll second. All right. I'll call the board. Ed Murphy. Yes. James, James McMahon. Yes. Colleen Dunn. Yes. Okay. Motion's Thank been approved. You. Thank you. All right. Uh, Go next on the agenda, it's B and E Real Estate Two, Incorporated. Come on up, please. Sean Ward, present on behalf of the applicant. Uh, Zafar Tugtai is also on the uh, Zoom conference. You can start. Your, uh, permission to, sh permission yeah. to share my screen. Ken, do you want to ask him for his mail-ins? Can we, uh, we already got we already got the mail-ins. I should have mentioned that they're fine. We can continue. Okay, you can start your presentation. All right, Tom, can I share my screen? Sorry, Mr. Chairman, I got this great presentation package, but I need to, I need to be able to share my screen. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wrong screen. All right, can everybody see my screen? I can. Yes, okay. I can. All right, uh, good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, Sean Ward on behalf of the applicant. I've uh, submitted electronically to Ken Fetterman, a copy of my uh, exhibit packet for, for the file. And again, I represent B&E Real Estate 2, Inc. The property is 4518 New Falls Road, appeal number 210254. And my exhibits, uh, exhibits A1 through A16 were attached to the application. A1 being the UNO application, A2, the denial letter, a3, the floor plan. A4 is proof of ownership, the deed from 2016. A5 is the zoning map. A6, Bucks County parcel map one. And A7, Bucks County parcel map two. Eight and nine are Bucks County parcel aerial photos. 
A10, 11, and 12 are Google aerial photos. A13 is the photographs of the subject property. A14 are street views. A15 are front and interior photos. A16, interior photos. A17 is a site plan that was submitted uh, post-application. It was hand-delivered to, uh, to the township. A18, as uh, Ken mentioned, I provided him a copy of our certificate of service. Along with that, A19, was, I, I received one acknowledgement of notice uh, back from Newtown Plaza Holdings, LLC. Uh, they are the property across the street, across New Falls Road, uh, albeit uh, located in uh, uh, Middletown Township. And in that uh, acknowledgement, they uh, uh, noted their support for the application. And A20 is a permit history I obtained from the township file. Uh, confirming that this is a non-conforming retail shopping center dating back to 1957. So real quickly, I'll just page through the uh, exhibits. So we have the three-page application. This is the UNO application packet. Um, sorry, my cell phone was ringing. Um, here's the denial letter. Here is a floor plan of the subject property. As you can see, there's the front entrance. You have the main lobby area for the customers, some seating, uh, the service counter, three windows. Uh, I'm sorry, this is for a, a check cashing and Western Union bill pay uh, uh, financial uh, services uh, location. Uh, in the back, you'd have the private office for the manager a ADA accessible bathroom, as well as the utility room for the, the heating and the air conditioning ventilation. Um, back to. We have the copy of the deed. Here is the excerpt from the zoning map. The red dot indicates the location of the property. Um, the Bucks County tax map, Bucks County tax Parsons. map. Parsons. somebody's, somebody's getting, I'm getting feedback from somebody. Yes, me too. Please mute your microphones. If you're not speaking. Yeah. If you're not speaking, please uh, mute your, uh, your microphone. Uh, again, here is the, uh, uh, the tax map parcel. Here's the subject property. An aerial photograph, you can see it's a five unit uh, strip center. It's known as New Star Plaza. To the northwest of us on New Falls Road is Nectar's Plaza and across the street over here is uh, Newport Plaza. Another Google aerial photo showing the front of the subject. A direct overhead. And then a wide out to show uh, the property is zoned R3. Uh, most, most of the residential uses are in behind the property. And there's a few homes along New Falls Road that the rear of the property backs up to New Falls Road and they front on this residential street here. Pictures of the subject. As you can see, it's a, a five unit strip center. The location that we're speaking of today is to the far left. Again, it used to be a psychic shop. It's located next to a cricket store. Here are the two uh, street views. I took this photograph from the parking lot of the Newtown Plaza. And then here's a view looking northwest. This is the Nectar's Plaza, which is directly adjacent to our S site. Again, this is the subject that we are speaking of. It's got a mailing address of 4518. The site itself is 4510-18 New Falls Road. Interior photo, this is the, the lobby area of the uh, subject. This would be looking into the customer service uh, area and then looking out from the customer service area to the front of the store. Again, submitted 
after application. The, the plan wasn't ready at the time we filed, so we submitted that later. You can see there's five units. There's approximately 20 on-site uh, lined parking spaces uh, for the site. This was my certification of service, indicating that they were sent out by certified mail. To these addresses as uh, obtained from the Bucks parcel viewer of the adjoining properties. Here's copies of the uh, certified mail envelopes, the uh, return, uh, the certified mail receipts, copies of the letters that were sent, all six. Attached to those letters with a, was a copy of the hearing notice. This was the one that was returned to me by uh, via email from uh, Ben Bernstein from uh, Newport Plaza Holdings LLC, the owner of the property across the street. And here he indicated uh, kindly enough uh, we we agree to allow is is how I read that. So, <laughs> pardon me. Uh, as far as the zoning history, uh, I attach copies of the permits. Uh, the property is currently zoned R three, um, but you'll see in the history, as noted by Tom Scott on this application from 2017, it's a non-conforming shopping retail use from 1956. Here's a permit or use and occupancy permit from 2014. At that time, you'll see it was zone C commercial. Again, moving along, 2014 C commercial. 09, you'll see it was, or 07, I'm sorry, C commercial. 04 C commercial. 01 C commercial. Then all of a sudden uh, we find out and in, in, here's a permit from April of 2016. We started noticing it's R3. Again, 2016 R3. Again, Tom uh, notes that it's a non-conforming multi-space uh, multi retail um, commercial building. 06 C commercial. Here's a letter in 03 indicating it's a it was owned C commercial. Not to belabor the point, but I think the I think the board gets uh, what I'm suggesting. Um, so as far as the application itself, I prepared a summary of relief, which I'll blow up. So, uh, and, and, and Mr. Chairman, I, I, I would like to make a proffer. I'd like to summarize the application and then I'll have uh, so far uh, verify and adopt my testimony as his own in the interest of uh, brevity. So the applicant is b and &E Realty uh, Real Estate 2 Inc. It's the owner operator of premises since January of 2016. It consists of a strip shopping center located on New Falls Road, west of uh, Route 14. It's known as Newtown Star, uh, New Star Plaza. The property is an existing non-conforming use established in 1956. Property was previously zoned C commercial. It's presently zoned R3 residential from, from the best I could determine. That change occurred in or about 2016. The property sits adjacent to the Nectar's Plaza Shopping Center, which also is zoned R3. Uh, previously was probably zoned C commercial. It's across the street from the Newtown Plaza Shopping Center, which is located in Middletown Township, and that is owned C Commercial. The use is permitted by right in R3, or obviously single family, multifamily, place of worship, school, library or museum, community center, hospital, municipal services, public park and recreation facilities, agriculture, nursery, forestry, terminal. There's four accessory uses that are permitted, professional office, personal service, home crafts and trades, no impact home-based businesses, residential accessory buildings are also permitted. Uh, the building was constructed for use as a commercial shopping center and is not suitable for residential use. Additionally, none of the permitted uses are suitable for the subject location given its non-conforming commercial use. And it, uh, quite frankly, cannot be reasonably changed 
uh, to accommodate those uses that are permitted. The applicant proposes a commercial use for financial services and related uses, including check cashing, notary service, Western Union, and, and bill pay service. Uh, so far as unaware that the property was rezoned from C commercial to R3, and he believed at all times the property was zoned commercial. He fitted out the interior with the new fit and finish to accommodate what was believed to be a permitted use. Uh, the proposed use is consistent in the nature and character with the existing uses uh, and will not be detrimental to the health, safety, and general welfare of the surrounding uses. Uh, it will not be objectionable with regard to external effects uh, such as traffic generation, congestion, noise, smoke, dust, fumes, vapors, et cetera. Uh, waste disposal, the check cashing and bill payer service does not generate a lot of waste. Most of uh, it is paper and it has to be shredded. And with regard to the appearance, it's going to look like your typical storefront. There's no, uh, no, no great changes to the front. So the applicant would respectfully submit that the granting of the variance is in harmony with the general purpose of the ordinance and would not be injurious to the neighborhood or otherwise detrimental public welfare. Uh, the special circumstances or, or conditions applying to the, to the property are peculiar to this property and do not apply generally to the buildings and, and land in the neighborhood, most of which are your typical residential uses and homes. Uh, the conditions uh, are such that strict application of the, of, the, of the ordinance would deprive the applicant of re reasonable use of this property. Uh, it creates an unnecessary hardship it was not self-created. He did not. You know, he did not have the property rezoned, and we believe the variance is necessary for the reasonable use of the property. So, based upon the foregoing, he would respectfully pray that this honorable board grant the requested relief. Uh, can we have Safar sworn in? Yes, I'm here. Safar, so Joe Price. Thank you for raising your right hand. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you, God? Yes. Thank you. All right. So far, you've heard my representations to the board? Yes, I did, Sean. Are they true and correct to the best of your knowledge, information, and belief? Uh, my belief, yes. And you adopt them as your own testimony as if you had testified tonight? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, but that's basically the sum and substance of our presentation. And if the board has any questions, we'd be more than happy to uh, respond. Okay, thank you. Um, I have one question. Uh, so this, this is just gonna be financial institution. There's not gonna be anything else sold in there, no uh, tobacco products or anything to that? No, no, no pawn shop, no products, tobacco products, no. Okay. Um, anybody else from the board have any questions? I just have one. It, it's going to be different than the check hashing place that's just a couple shops down. Is it going to offer other things or is it going to be the same? No, I'm not going to offer another thing. Just like bill payments and just like, a, you know, like a Western Union and check hashing, that's it. Nothing else. No trees. Okay. No pawn shop there? No, no pawn shop. Okay. Thank you. And and for the record, there's no other check cashing in that center. No, there's one up the street, though. Right. I think that's what Pauline's referring yeah, it's to. Yeah, closer, closer to New Falls Road. I mean, to uh, 413, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, with that, we would rest and uh, move our exhibits into uh, evidence. Okay. Uh, one more time. Any other questions from the board? No move. Yeah, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, Mr. Scott. A couple of things I uh, just to point out the the check casting use is the same as the pawn shop use in the zoning ordinance, which is not permitted in the R three district and is not permitted. Uh, actually, it's not permitted in the C district either. Uh, so the if this had been a you know a regular retail place, then it would have been nonconforming. That's why it doesn't fall into the nonconforming and. It wasn't rezoned in 2016. I don't know why my predecessors marked it as commercial on their paperwork, but it's been R3 for 
quite some time. Well, I don't know if the, I don't think that really impacts the case before you, but the the um, the the use is not retail. It's a very specific use in the zoning ordinance. The D twenty nine use, the pawn shop check cashing use. I'm sorry, what is it? What pawn shop check cashing use? D twenty nine. D twenty nine, yes. right? Yes, D is in David twenty nine. Thank you. Uh, that's it. I just wanted to point those couple things out. If uh, if Ken uh, would be able to craft a condition of approval uh, restricting pawn shop use specifically, we would have no objection to that because we 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 fully do not intend to uh, institute a pawn shop use. Just that's the, easily that's easily done. Not okay. A problem. So, so we agree that if there is an approval, it'll be conditioned upon non-pawn shop. That's correct. So, Mr. Scott, uh, it, like, did this the previous people that rented this this space did they come for the zoning board at, at any point? No, because wait a minute, you broke up, Jim. What I asked was, asked Mr. Scott, if at any point did the previous renters of this um, building come in front of us for similar zoning? I don't believe so. Not in my tenure, Mr. Chairman, since uh, since uh, December of 2014. Uh, but it is zone R3. It's the, the shops, the retail use is not conforming. But the use before you is not retail under the terms of the zoning ordinance. So that's why relief would be needed. All right. I understand. There, there, there was one zoning uh, decision that I found in the file, and that was in, uh, it's on my screen now. That was the a 2003 hearing. And that was for. That was for a sign. Okay. So. Thank you. All right. Um, at this point, um, anybody from the audience like to speak for or against this project? Okay. I don't hear anybody, so I'm gonna take that as a no. So uh, what I think I need now is a motion from the board to accept this applicant or to deny this applicant. I'm gonna make a motion to approve on the condition of uh, not a, to be a pawn shop at any point. So I need a second. I'll second as long as that condition's in place. That condition will be in place, right, Ken? You're muted, Ken. Yep, I heard you. Yes, it'll be in place. No problem. Okay, so I got a second on the approval. I'm gonna call the board. Uh, Colleen Don. Yes. Ed Murphy. Yes. Jim McMahon, yes. All right. Mr. Mr. Okay. Chairman, members of the board, thank you very much. That concludes our business. May we be excused. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank Good you luck. very much. Okay, thank you. All right. Have a good night. Thank you. All right, what I need now is a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I need a second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. As opposed, eyes have it. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you in a month. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Good, Good night. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Jim, are you still there? Yeah, Tom. What happened to Andy? I have no idea. I, I'm going to reach out to him and see uh, see what's going on. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. See you next month. All right, Tom. Thanks.